everybody loves secondary ignition. So we're going to have a little trivia. Why do we snap the throttle? Let's find out. So here's our capture. We have one second per division. We have one microsecond sample interval. So we have got plenty of horsepower to analyze this. So 2022 Nissan Frontier 3.8 V6. We're dealing with number one cylinder. It's under the intake. Uh, the vehicle's got about 40,000 miles on it. Dead miss. This whole capture is a dead miss. Uh, I was able to get the uh, a Pico ignition wand kind of under the intake and set it and kind of wedged it right on top of the coil so I could reach in the truck, snap the throttle, get back out, and then uh, save the capture. So you're going to see what I see. So tell me what's wrong with this thing. So right in here is idle. You can see as the traces get a little closer together, this is kind of the snap throttle area. Uh, this is probably D cell. And then I snapped it again in here. And then D cell and then back to idle. Like I said, this, this is kind of for educational purposes, no trickery. Every pulse in here is a, is a misfire. We just need to look at it and say, all right, why is this low mileage truck misfiring? And do I just want to blindly pull the intake off this thing just to check the spark plug? What if it's a fuel injector? So we're going to snap the throttle and we're going to learn some stuff. So let's zoom in. Let's get this guy up here. And the first thing I'd like to do is make it small because it's always in the way. And uh, we're going to zoom in. This is kind of the idle section. Let's take a peek at a couple of uh, events. Uh, just out of habit, I always like to pull a line down just to kind of see where the spark jumps out. Uh, 3.8 kV. Now I am using an ignition wand, so everything is inductive. I'm not comparing numbers to spec. I'm just comparing each spark event to each spark event. So let's zoom back out. That's idle. Um, nothing crazy. You got some ring going on right there. I don't see any signs of it lean. Um, it's jumping out right there. So let's just compare. Let's move on up the food chain here a little bit. Let's get in here. Um, same deal here. I'm not sure where I'm at in the capture. Let's, uh, let's go back to one to one here. Let's pick a spot right in here where the snap is. Now, when we snap the throttle, we're letting a big gulp of air come in. Um, the fuel system's going to ramp up. We're going to have a lot of air moving in and out of the cylinders. That's why we do the snap throttle. We can find weaknesses in our secondary. We can look for changes in our KV. Um, we can look for changes in our spark line. So let me zoom in here. And uh, we're going to look in here. Let's go ahead and open up two. And I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag. I'm just going to show you guys what I'm looking at. You have a pretty good spark line right there. We can actually measure some of this if you want. Let's, uh, let's go in here. Let's just do that. I'm going to lock it. Seem like it's jumping out at about the same spot as it was at idle. Let's take our hand and just move down the thing here. Still got this just straight down spark line. Still got our ring. Uh, let's move on. Let's get on down here a little bit. Let's check right in here. Could probably open this back up and we could kind of see where we're at in our capture. It's going to be hard for you guys to see because, hell, it's hard for me to see it. Uh, We'll drag our cursors back out. So we're firing kind of the same time. Got a little nose right there. That's not screaming lean to me. Uh, the biggest clue uh, we've already we've already kind of seen. Let's get over here in this D cell area right here. This is where you know the snaps already happened. The engine's probably settling on back down a little bit. Uh, we should have high engine vacuum, low cylinder pressure. 
so we should expect to see different kind of changes. So what are you guys thinking? I got a fuel problem. We got a coil problem. Maybe we need to look, uh, let's look in here. This looks like another snap throttle area. Let's pull these little guys out and pop up. You gotta love it. Kind of about the same spark line. I'm starting to see a trend here. What do you guys think? Give you a minute to ponder on it. So there's the overall capture. Now I'll go ahead and show you the fixed capture. And then I'll show you the problem. Let's go in here. All right, so this is fixed. Same scaling, same setup, same sample interval, um, same ignition one. This is a snap throttle again. First thing that stands out to me is when I snap the throttle, my KV is changing. When I let out of the throttle, my KV really changes. It comes on back up. Then when I snap it again, our KV is changing. That's the beauty of doing a snap throttle. That is probably the biggest clue and the best, my opinion, the best thing to do with a snap throttle. Anytime you're doing secondary ignition, automatically just snap the throttle because you're looking at a big increase in energy and you're looking at a big decrease in energy. So um, let's go ahead and cut right to it. I'll blow that down a little bit. And let's look right in the snap area. Let's zoom in on a couple of these guys. So the KV's up, or it's higher. And the other big clue is, notice, notice this. What is this? We'll drop our line down. That's turbulence. That means things are happening. Air's moving. That's a good thing. On a snap throttle. Notice here. I go from KV up here down to here. We're on the D cell side. So why did the KV change? Well, our compression got lower. Our engine vacuum's really high. Our compression's really low. We still got air moving. And we're seeing that in the spark line. It jumped out pretty good right there. So let's go back down to one to one. Let's ease, looks like probably another snap throttle right here. Same thing. Let's measure the snap event. So we're still over one micro, uh, one millisecond, 1.3. So we're burning. We're burning enough to keep that cylinder lit. We've got a lot of turbulence. Now we're in the D-cell area. So I've shown you the before and I've shown you the after. So I guess now I need to show you what I found wrong with the truck. And you got to ask yourself when you're doing these snap throttles with what I've shown you on the before, was there a fueling issue? Did my KV change with compression? Meaning did the KV go higher under snap and lower under D cell? And then do now, do I have enough evidence to at least pull the intake off and uh, snoop around the ignition system? So let me show you the pictures. So here's picture number one. Um, you can see the carbon track right there. Uh, I'm not understanding why this brand is in this truck, but it is. I get some of the strangest problems from these big box used car dealerships. Um, and this is just another one. But the snap throttle, did you see how important the snap throttle is? You may not know that that 
um, that secondary capture was a carbon track, but that snap throttle let you know, or should let you know immediately, this thing is not firing in the cylinder. Um, if it's firing in the cylinder, you saw in the good. The KV went up, the KV went down, the KV went up, went down. On the bad capture, I was snapping the throttle, the KV really didn't change. So that means the spark is occurring outside the cylinder. That is the biggest takeaway from this little video. Um, that to me was enough evidence to, hey, I need to get the intake off this thing, I need to get the coil out, and I need to start looking around uh, because the spark is not occurring in the cylinder. So that was my little spiel on that. Uh, those Pico wands, um, auto nerds keeps them in stock. There is a link in my description box for anything you may need. Uh, supporting them helps support me and the channel. And um, I would appreciate it if you need anything. Give those guys a shout. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. And thank you guys for watching.